It's Valentine's Day. Uh, what? Good morning. Um, morning. What? Whether you like Valentine's Day or or, or do you have that special someone? I certainly do. I, His name's Owen. Back no, off, Laura. I have. I. I have two. You don't get to argue. <laughs> uh, after uh, we're gonna be uh. Hey. Eating some chocolate in the spirit of the season. I don't know uh, what after. they are. I don't really like assorted chocolate. I don't like most chocolates, so. This was four dollars. <laughs> So, uh... We have very little things we could do. We'll be not enjoying these after news. Bank of New York Mellon Corp., the nation's oldest bank, is making the leap into the market for cryptocurrencies. The custody bank said Thursday it will hold, transfer, and issue Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies on behalf of its asset management clients. In time, BNY Mellon will allow those digital assets to pass through the same plumbing used by managers' other, more traditional holdings, from treasuries to technology stocks, using a platform that is now in prototype. The bank is already discussing plans with clients to bring their digital currencies into the fold. Digital assets are becoming part of the mainstream, said Roman Regelman, chief executive of BNY Mellon's asset servicing and digital businesses. It is a big step for Wall Street's back office banks, whose concerns over regulatory, legal, and stability risks left them reluctant to come into direct contact with crypto markets. But as prices of Bitcoin and other digital assets have continued to rise, they have become more popular with asset managers, hedge funds, and other institutional investors. In Onondaga County, COVID cases have dropped 66%. However, although many are following the guidelines, deaths are still continuing to happen. So just remember to keep following COVID precautions. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A Live at 25 classes will be offered for Cohort A on March 2nd and Cohort B on March 4th. The classes will be held in the library from 4 to 8. Reminder, you must take the classes to receive a parking pass. If you received a temporary pass, you must sign up for the class or you will lose your parking pass. Please sign up in the main office with Ms. Scarletta. Seniors, sign up for the Bottle and Can Drive this Saturday, February 13th from 8 to 2. Choose a time slot on our Sign Up Genius page, found on our Instagram. Pick up gloves for Mrs. Kwanis and Ms. Mitiga. This can count for some of your senior community service hours, so don't delay. Sign up today. Any 9th or 10th grader interested in trying out for JV Baseball, please talk to Mr. Golusky in room D9, or email him at gguluski at esmschools.org if you have not already done so. Even if you did not play last year, you are welcome to try out this spring. Let's crack these bad boys open. I can't say crack. Yes, I can. Try to stop me. Um, whether you have a Valentine's or not, uh, I do. His name we is all, Owen. We all can agree. Assorted chocolates kind of eh. They're not very good. You, you don't know if it's going to be good until it's too late. You know what they say. Life is like a box of chocolates. Not very good. What kind would you like? I want, um, let me get the one on your left. The very most left. This one? one? No, the one below it. This one? Yeah. Okay. I don't want people taking pictures it's of my right. butt and putting it on Reddit. I love to just eat it. Yeah. If this has a cherry or raspberry in it, I'm going to throw it at your dog. <laughs> Which one? It was not. All right. Oh, it's so, oh. What? Oh. That's the good one! No! No? Oh. It's really chewy toffee or whatever oh. it is. That might be because we got it for $4. It's probably been on that shelf for like two weeks. You can give it to Emily. She seems very... No, don't do that, actually. It definitely so has chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Emily, stop. Um, don't eat the far left one. If you're buying... What does that say? Russell Stover? Yeah. I can't read cursive. I don't know why. I'm gonna finish it. Are we gonna get like copy strike for slandering Russell's Oh, no, I want the bottom one. He's probably one. dead. You want the bottom one? I should yeah. take that one. Did you get the toffee one? This one's just a Three Musketeers. That's the one I wanted. Uh, if you want to spend $4 on a fun size Three Musketeers, Russell Stover's the way to go. <laughs> Give me the middle one. The bottom one or the middle one? The bottom one. Because the middle one's right here. Give me the, give me the bottom one. 
Welcome to morning show. We're eating chocolate. Aren't you enjoying this instead of gym class? Sorry, I'm just going. <laughs> Emily, stop begging. All right, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. It's got a, it's got a red. Give me marshmallow or something. Uh, uh, what is it? <laughs> oh, no, it's caramel. Oh, that <laughs> was really thick again. So I thought I had the same one twice. Good morning everyone. Today is going to have a high of 18 with some sunning clouds. Over the weekend we are going to have flurries both days with temperatures in the high teens to low 20s. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday all look to be the same with flurries all four days in, and temperatures in the mid 20s. I'm Emily with your weather. With Valentine's Day around the corner, I thought it would be a good idea to shop local at a small business. I recently interviewed Michael Speech, fourth generation president and head chocolatier of Speech Candy Company. I picked up a couple stuff, a couple of items from Speech. Speech Candy Company, located on Lode Street, is best known for their chocolate covered potato chips. And they make a brickle, which is a candy bark that has peanuts in it. And that's what this is, it has potato chips in it and they are also best known for their truffles. And recently I talked to Michael, they participated in a 10 Decades of Giving event where they par grouped with 10 different organizations and the organizations received the profit of what they sold. Today we have some good news and some bad news, unfortunately. In good news, we have NBA's Seth Curry. He's making history currently because of his high stats with the Sixers and making reaching all-time and all-league highs. Uh, national news, we have Alex Morgan, who after recovering from child labor and COVID simultaneously, uh, she's returning to the pitch and starting to prepare for the Olympics once more. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, the bad news, NFL's Therese Paler, who was a senior writer for the league, uh, died on Wednesday, February 10th, at the age of 37. Uh, no, de no cause of death has been released yet. Good morning. What I'm doing for Valentine's Day is that my wife's birthday is two days before Valentine's Day. So we are actually going down to New Jersey to visit our family because we both have received our vaccines by that point. And we are excited to go down and visit family because they will also have their vaccines as well. What I would want for Valentine's, Valentine's Day is very, very simple. Candy! Lots of candy! Heart-shaped candy, though. What am I doing for Valentine's Day? Well, it's, uh, it's on a Sunday, so probably uh, relax with the fam and probably get uh, some takeout. What I'd really like, you know, usually it's freezing cold around here. I, I would love if we could go to somewhere warm. And I'm a golfaholic, so play some golf and uh, just, just get out of this cold weather because I'm really not a winter person. For Valentine's Day, I'm getting the second vaccine. Woo! My Valentine's Day is going to consist of spending the day with my husband and children. We like to do fondue and make chocolate covered strawberries. What I want most for Valentine's Day is a tropical vacation. So we'll probably just stay home, hang out with the kiddos and maybe cook like a special dinner or something like that. Um, in terms of what I want to get for Valentine's Day, um, not a whole lot, just some relaxation would be perfect. 